Discord Mafia. Hello, Internet. Welcome to another episode of Jesse's Corner. I'm Jesse. That's the corner. And today I'm going to be talking about Super Smash Brothers. Sometime this month, Nintendo's going to have a new direct where they're going to announce some new games or talk about games that they already announced. I don't really know. Uh, one thing I'm pretty sure on is that they're not going to talk about Smash Brothers. Whatever they got going for that, that's probably going to take some time. But it did raise a question in my mind. What would the next Smash Brothers even be? Smash 4 had everything. Had an insane cast. Had a lot of crazy levels and stuff. There was almost 60 characters in that game. Where can you go from there? You can't add another 20 characters. That's... It's too much. So... What's next? Here are three ideas I have for where they can go forward with Smash Brothers from this point on. It might be three. I forget. It might be more or less than three. Here are some ideas I've had that I haven't written out. I'm just talking off my tip of my brain here. I don't... Number one! So the first option they go with is obvious. Just port the last Smash Brothers to the Switch. Call it Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch. Maybe have some unique levels or a unique extra mode like the Wii U and 3DS versions had. And maybe if we're lucky, add in a character or two. That's good for this generation, I guess. I would prefer to see an original thing, but I would not scoff at that either because I did enjoy the last Smash Brothers quite a bit. That's not really a sustainable model though. They could, I guess, just port that game every generation and add more characters to it every now and then. That way it doesn't mess up the balancing as much because you're taking what is already there and just adding a couple more characters. Obviously DLC would from the last game would be included. Like Game of the Year edition. Yeah. Okay. Second option. So, Smash Brothers 4 had some crazy picks. A lot of third-party characters got in it through DLC. And some people, well, I was one of the people who were like, you can't have this character in and that character, that's too many characters from Sega or Capcom, and you're supposed to be from this and that, because an interview he did like 10 years ago. <laughs> but I did get thinking, if the next Smash Brothers had, say, I don't know, 60 characters, 30 Nintendo characters, and 30 new characters from other companies. You call it like Smash Brothers Gaming All-Stars or something, or Gaming Versus, I don't know. But you, you push the third party characters' involvement more in the advertising and in the character selection. So to half Nintendo, half you get Cloud, you get other characters people want, but you know, stick it, keep it to video games, and I don't know, you could do that. Uh, personally, that's not the one I would go with, but I could see them doing that. Maybe they really want to push third-party support on the Switch, and this be symbolic of that or something. And the final option, which is one I think I like the most, is to essentially start from scratch. Go back to 25 to 30 characters. So that means you got to kick out most of the characters and bring in like, at probably at most 10 new characters, may I guess into a smaller, tighter cast. But here's what you do differently. You expand on the multiple moveset options they were kind of doing in Smash 4. But you do it more like Mortal Kombat X, in which each character has three different unique sets of special moves that you can pick at the beginning of a match. And a fourth custom you can do with your friends, and that's probably not balanceable, but it's fun kind of thing. So for example, you could have standard Mario, which is like how we played in Melee. You can have uh, Sunshine Mario, which all his moves are based around Flood. And you can have Odyssey Mario, which all his moves are based around stuff you can do in Mario Odyssey. And do that with all 25 to 30 characters in the game. That way you get less characters, but it feels like more because they're more varied in what you can do. And give every character like two final smashes they can do. You pick one at the beginning of a match, like in uh, some of the Street Fighters, how they do ultras. I like that idea a lot because, while I do want 
more characters that I'm like, oh, I really want this character. And doing that would most certainly make it so that Balloon Fighter will never be in Smash Brothers. Uh, I do like the idea of cutting back, smaller cast, cool, more customizable uh, movesets. Because, I don't know, seems cool. I want that. I, I want some change to reflect the different eras of Mario. In different areas of all the characters, like Link could have his normal moveset. He could have another moveset that uses other abilities. He got a moveset based completely around Breath of the Wild. And they could all be one character slot. I don't know. Some ideas I've been kicking around for a while. I kind of want to do a quick little video about it. See what you guys think. Um, I don't know. What, what do you think? Do you think there's any, um, any of this is good? Do you think any of this is a good idea? Honestly, I think porting Smash 4 and maybe adding to it is probably what they're going to do, at least for now, maybe near the end of the Switch life cycle to come out with a new one. Or heck, they could do an HD remake of Melee, they're never going to do that. But it, that would also be a good choice. I don't know. Smash Brothers is one of my all-time favorite game franchises, because I love Nintendo. And it's one of the only fighting games I'm good at, because it's so simple, but still, it's easy to learn difficult to master kind of thing, which I really enjoyed. So, honestly, anything to do, I'll be happy. Uh, if Balloon Fighter is playable, I'll be especially happy. <laughs> let me know what you think. If you have any unique ideas of what they can do with Smash Brothers moving forward, let me know that as well. I'm not talking about uh, this character. I'm talking about, like, what do they do with the franchise now after Smash 4, which had everything in the kitchen sink in it, you know? A more robust uh, single player campaign or unique multiplayer modes, tag team, all stuff I would love to see added to the franchise. So, I don't know what this is doing. Bye, and uh, Boo says hello and goodbye also. Also, there's Mario here, and these are all me. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm trying to figure out how to end this in a funny, clever way, and I am failing. <sighs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's a